In this video I'll be discussing the key characteristics of event-driven programs, which is for my coursework. Before we start, what does event-driven programming stand for? Event-driven programming, also known as event-based programming, is a programming paradigm in which the flow of program is determined by events, for example, sensor, outputs, user actions, which is mouse clicks, and messages from other programs. Key features, service-oriented. Everything on the screen provides a service to the user. Anything that appears on the screen, even the program window, is a control. And each control can have blocks of code attached that performs a service to the user. So these blocks are referred to events. Time driven. An event will only occur from user input, such as a user clicking a button. There is other kind of events too, for example an alarm used to remind the user to save his work. Event handlers. This is a code that is executed when an event occurs. This is known as an event handler. This is a task of programmers to write event handlers for the user needs. Trigger functions. If the program is using system events, for example, a program shutting down, then these fire trigger functions are just special cases of event handlers. Event. This occurs when the program is notified that something has happened, for example, if the mouse was clicked or a button and the keyboard was pressed, etc. This is a style of programming that relies on the user interface, in other words, what the user sees on the screen. Event loops. The program has to check non-stop for all possible events. In languages such as Visual Basic, there may be more than a thousand of these events that need to be screened, which makes the language very slow. In other programs such as Java, maybe C++, it requires the programmer to say what events should be monitored, which makes it faster as they are checking tens of events. Flexibility. Event driven programmings are more flexible as it is easier to amend if the user needs changes. You only need to change the screen, adding or changing some event handlers. Suitability for graphical interfaces. These programs rely on the user pressing or dragging objects on the screen. This sort of program relies on all sorts of images and buttons or drop down lists to make the program more innovative. Simplicity of programming. Event driven programs react to events. The event handlers are all programmed separately so you can write and test them as you go along. One event handler does one task, so if something has gone wrong, it can only be in the event handler dealing with that job. Ease of development. Simplicity of programming means that event driven programs are easier to develop, maintain, and amend. This has led to it being cheaper for organizations to develop systems too. Disadvantages. Event driven languages can be slow since a lot of processing power is soaked up by the need for event loops to keep checking the graphical user interface to find out if anything has happened. As quoted from the IDEX or BTEC Information Technology Book 1, Level 3, the trigger function also takes a lot of processing power since these match the type of event with the event handler needed to respond. Examples of event driven systems. Operating systems as event driven systems. Operating system is a program which controls the hardware, for example, the screen. A piece of hardware is only used when needed. A response to this hardware is an event which is noticed by the operating system, which then decides how it should be carried out. Operating systems as event driven systems. Here are some examples of events that peripherals send to the operating system for handling. Keyboard when a key is pressed, keyboard when control or delete are pressed together, printer when it jams, printer when it wants date for the next page, hard disk when a date transfer is complete. These examples were taken from BTEC IDXL Information Technology Book 1 Level 3. Graphical User Interface Modern PC operating systems have graphical user interfaces known as a WIMP system which stands for Windows, Icons, Mouse and Pointer. 
so that it can control the computer using a mouse or a similar input device. Graphical user interfaces make a computer easy to use as the options are shown on the screen. Non graphical user systems such as DOS need the user to type commands into an on screen prompt. This requires the users to remember operating system commands and to type them accurately. This was stated in the Beta Edexo Information Technology Book 1, Level 3. Programming Languages There are many event driven programming languages out there. Each language has their own area where it excels in, but I will be only mentioning the most common ones. So let's start off with Visual Basic. This is used to create programs. The speed is not the best, but it's alright, I guess. It's also used to build prototypes of programs, so you can see if building a real version is worth the time or not. But the only problem with this is it will only work on Windows. Let's move on to Visual Basic for applications. This is used to write programs in Microsoft Office applications, for example, a menu system for your database. Visual Basic application only works with Microsoft Office products. Now moving on to Cold Fusion. This is a program language from Adobe which is used to create website. It also doesn't matter whether the web servers are running Windows or Linux systems. Now for Java. This is a very good language to use as you can use Java to write programs that will run on any operating system. It also has some modifications so you can use it to run via the internet. Last but not least C Sharp. This will only be able to run on Microsoft but C Sharp is a combination of Visual Basic and C. It is easy to learn and pretty fast to use. Thanks a lot for watching this video, I hope this has helped you guys. If you have any problems, please do comment and I'll reply as soon as possible. Thanks a lot, bye.